Hey guys, it's JQ Crafty. Welcome to my channel today for another Confessions of a Paper Attic Pet Files design team layout. This month we are pairing up, uh, partnering with Scrap the Boys, and um, we have this amazing mood board um, that we have been given with a couple prompts on it. So go check out their um, blog. Here is a link to that down below, and you can also play along. But we on the Confessions of Paper Attic Cut File design team are also playing along this month. So I've gone ahead and grabbed kind of an oldie but a goodie. This is the Sun Gazer cut file and I cut it a few times. I um, cut it just regular in black and then I went ahead and cut it out. Um, I did a, I created a margin around it or an offset and I deleted all the insides and just cut the outside so that it's going to give me a shadow around except for somehow it it didn't cut there and I'm not really sure why um, so it's gonna give me a shadow around everything and then I went ahead and cut out all the stars in this crazy mirror paper so we're gonna pop those up on foam so we will um, put you on fast forward we'll get this assembled I have an idea of what photo I want to use we're gonna do some mixed media uh, yeah, so I have a photo idea of photo I want to use, but um, I'm not quite sure where it is. So I have a backup plan, but let's get started with this and we'll see what happens. So let me tell you first off, what a roller coaster putting this layout was together emotionally. <laughs> so first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pick out some shimmers. I have gessoed this paper. So while you watch me do the prettiness... Um, I also went ahead and I glued just some random stars um, together on that cut file. I didn't do them in every spot. I decided to just do some of them and I just glued them flat. I will pop the whole cut file up later. Um, and then I will use some of the loose stars to scatter around. But so using um, the purple shimmers I have and some blue and then gray... Um, I can't remember the names of them right now and I'm not in my craft room to look them up for you. I know um, punked up purple is one. Plum tuckered out is another. The gray one is something about mm, almost gray, I think. Or almost black, almost gray. Mm. And then the turquoise is, uh, well, blue me darn, because it's like one of my, or blue is like one of my favorites. So first emotional thing is I have this photo in mind, and it's a photo of my son and I when he's pretty little. I couldn't remember what, how old. Sitting on the deck or standing on the deck is pretty late. I don't remember why we came home so late, but it was, I, I thought it was spring. I knew it was springtime. Wasn't sure when, for sure. Um, and... It was very dimly lit, but it was a really neat photo of him and I kind of standing super close to each other. And I'm pointing at the moon because he was obsessed with the moon. We called it Moony Noony, obsessed with looking at the stars. And since he was rarely awake when it was dark out and Moony Noony was out, it was just a rare opportunity that we got to see Moony Noony. And it was just a neat picture my husband captured, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I hadn't, couldn't find it printed. I knew I hadn't scrapbooked it yet. Turns out because we're like, I'm slowly getting all my photos, um, like backed up and organized so I know where they all are and because it was taken on my husband's old phone it hadn't been backed up yet or it had but I had never printed it so it was like I have backed up all the photos before 2020 I believe um and they're all organized in files and I love Google Photos because that's where all of mine are right now. We have Gmail accounts, so you get Google Photos for free. And I, we technically have three amongst both of us. So when we start running out of space, they st recently started limiting space, actually. <laughs> We're at 50%, I guess. <laughs> um, so when I start running out of space, we can use two. We have two other accounts. We can start putting stuff in, I guess. So um, anywho, so I was, I was really heartbroken because I wanted to find this photo. I'm like, I know it exists. I can't find it. I went on Google Photos and I just searched for it and there it was. I was able to search dark photos and it was like one of the first few, that, like first 10 that came up. And so I printed it, used Persnickety prints for the first time. Thank you, Sarah Scraps and thank you, Heidi Swap for suggesting it. I love the quality of the prints and it actually came really fast for being a mail order print place. So I found the photo. I 
it came with a white border. I went ahead and backed it with an indigo and ivy um, paper from uh, Pink Fresh, a uh, six by six pad paper, the ombre one, and then tore the bottom. Um, off camera, I stitched around the layout a couple times, just kind of messily, not going super straight. The whole cut file, like I said, is up on foam. Right now, I'm just trying to figure out if there's anything else I want to add. So I had my like, pink fresh embellishment box. I just find this one little banner. This is Simple Pleasures. It's in a purple. I'm going to stick that at the bottom of the photo. And as you can see, I sprinkled the stars around. Now, while I was waiting for my photo to come, I had the whole background and the cut file and everything ready. And so after I got the photo and I got that, I was like, well, now what? Like, what What else does this layout need? I'm like, it needs a title. It needs a really good title. And I have a bunch of really good titles saved on my Pinterest board. Thank you, Christy, for that. She has some, some amazing titles that I go to her Pinterest board um, on occasion. Um, but I really like this one. The shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you will land among the stars. Love it. Thought it was perfect. It's just a random day. There's no giant story behind it besides the whole fact that my son was obsessed with Mooney Nooney and it was a neat picture. And I will tell probably a story about Mooney Nooney and him being obsessed with the moon on a different page, but this page I decided it's just going to be a pretty page. So I also opted to go ahead and stamp my title. Thank you, Daisy, for suggesting what type of ink. I'm using some stays on so that way it, um, with all the gesso and the, the mixed media in the background, um, it won't go anywhere or it will actually like stay put. Um, and I just did it in black and I'm using these LA Studio Jane Alphas. They're like the perfect size for this long title. It's crooked, of course, but I love the way it turned out. And the fact that I've got those shimmery holographic metallic stars here and there. Um, it's super pretty. I really apologize for the f glare on the photo. They're all matte printed. So I'm surprised that they glare so much. But the paper is really good quality. And then I'm just going to stamp the date with my, um, I think it's my Heidi Swap um, date stamp. that says So it says March 11th, 2016. So yeah, it was March. I was thinking it was like June because I remember we were outside and it was nice out. March 11th, like, isn't that crazy to think about that? I'm pretty sure March 11th this year it was snowing um, here in Minnesota. So yeah, I, yeah. It, it turned out fantastic. And so I just love the watery color look from the uh, mood board. And that's where I got my background from. And yeah, it turned out really good. And I haven't really traditionally backed a cut file in a long time. This is probably the closest thing to traditionally backing a cut file um, I've done. So here's some close-ups. Thank you for watching. Make sure you join the Facebook group down below and check out the Scrap the Boys challenge as well. Bye.